Ja, dann darf ich Sie und euch ganz herzlich begrüßen zur Pressekonferenz nach diesem 16. Spieltag in der Barmer zweiten Basketball Bundesliga Pro A. Rasterfechter gewinnt vor 3140 Zuschauern im ausverkauften Rasterdom mit 79 zu 77 gegen die Tigers Tübingen. Bei mir sind die Headcoaches der beiden Teams, Danny Jansson von den Tigers Tübingen und Ty Harrison von Rasterfechter. Und wie immer gebührt das erste Statement dem Gästecoach. Danny, what is your point of view about the game? Well, uh, just like we expected. I mean, it's, uh, I guess they call it the spits and spiel for a reason. You know, I, we, we knew it's going to be really physical and, um, and you know, both teams battled. And, and I, I thought this game was, you know, really, really good one. Really good for us also to, to test where we are um, against the number one team uh, in the league. And, um, and what really is, you know, not bad is, is the fact that we actually, I, I felt two, three minutes ago, if, if we had made two more stops, we, we would have won this game and, and we failed. And, and this was the, the margin uh, between the two teams today. And, and I mean, that's, that's what, you, what you can expect. And it was a really good experience um, for us. Uh, my biggest concern coming here was um, also the, the one thing that I'm super happy about is, is um, the fact that after the Trier loss, um, few few weeks ago i was a little bit concerned about our rotation and um and today obviously we're missing missing two uh key players um uh, with Seritz and, and ersek and and yet today we managed to rotate you know it's we managed to play pretty much eight nine guys um evenly and and that makes us you know in a big picture to me like a 10 11 deep team and and i i think this is a really good good way to or good platform to build um, for the spring also. Danny, thank you very much. Ty, uh, a dramatic game with the buzzer beater in the end. Uh, it hasn't happened before in the Rasterdome, I guess. It was our 100th home game in the Pro A. So what are your emotions right now? What were your emotions in the last second of the game? Well, <clears throat> I obviously was really happy uh, to see to see Julius make the shot, you know, the ball. The ball hung on the rim there for a second and, and then dropped in as, as the buzzer went off. And I guess at that point, I, I realized we had won. And we also are coming off a tough loss down to down in, in Kirschheim. And it was nice to to come back to the Rasa Dome with all of our fans. Uh, Daniel does a great job with his team. He, he mentioned it, but th they're missing two of their top scores. And so for them to, to play the way that they did, is a testament to how, how well he coaches them. And, and we, we knew that they're tough to guard, that they have a lot of weapons. But um, I was really impressed with, with how they performed in the second half. They, they put a lot of pressure on us. We, we turned the ball over. Um, but in the final, I guess in the final moments when we did get down, we had players step up and, and make key plays. Ryan, Ryan Trieger hit a, a couple of big shots. Uh, Tuan, Tuan had the... the, the you know, the layup there and the and one. And then, of course, Julius's final shot. So very exciting game. Two top teams in the league right now. And, um, yeah, al also good to get the first one of the year. Thank you very much, Ty. Thank you, Danny. Uh, any questions? Nein, gibt es nicht. Dann entlasse ich euch beide in den Feierabend. Euch eine gute Rückreise. Alles Gute.